Bourbon is uh, whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. And by law in 1964, U.S. Congress said that bourbon had to be the following. Made in the U.S., made with at least 51% corn, aged in new charred oak barrels, and no coloring or flavor added. The initial bourbon coming off the still is very raw. It's called White Dog. It's something that you can drink, but you really don't want to drink. When you put it in the barrel, that's where the color and, and most of the flavor comes from. Younger bourbon is just like you know, a small child. It's, it's, it's young, it's, it's raw, it's not good. It really takes some time in this barrel to become mature. Then it gets to be six or eight years old, so it's like a teenager, and it's a lot more flavor, but not there yet. Still able to drive, but probably a little scary. Then you get to, say, a 10 or 12-year-old, and now you're starting to talk about a young adult that um, has some refinery, and it's very nice and um, very enjoyable. You can drink it neat. It's very easy to mix it with a good cocktail. Better the whiskey, better the cocktail. 15-year-old, it's quite a real drink of whiskey, real kick in the pants, because it's 107 proof out of the bottle. Then you get to say our 20-year-old, and that's more like a lady. That's really refined, it's soft on the tongue, and that's what we want. I call it butter whiskey. It's just so soft and smooth. Then all of a sudden, as it stays in the barrel a little longer, it gets a little more edge to it, and starts to get to that point where it's an old man, and you need to put him out the pasture, maybe, because, oh, just scary, just too old. Get him out of here. 